Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Racha Kodash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew tongue, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. Also, I want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to all you sincere believers. All right, here with a lesson concerning Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? And the reason was truly coming through the inspiration of this, uh, the image that you see, all right? And I want to uh, dive into the context of Genesis chapter 19, all right, because it, it, this is very relatable to this very day, and it's going to be the same result, okay? It's relatable. Same actions are taken. The same wicked, ungodly, and pagan actions are being taken a, in, into this very, into this, uh, actions are being taken in the times we're living in right now, and the same result is going to happen, all right? So people must understand and consider a Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? But, you know, it takes faith to even consider that particular point. But we must give out that warning to you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right. So concerning Genesis chapter uh, 19, without starting from the top, all right, just to give a few um, points of context. Well, when a few men came to the door of Lot, all right, Israelite came to the door of Lot, okay, uh, to to his house and was attempting, you know, to uh have sexual intercourse with, you know, uh with a with with men that have just entered into Lot's house, okay, and Lot offered, you know, offered them to you know to a hey, relax, do not commit this wicked act, all right, and I'll give you my daughters who haven't been touched. They were truly virgins, okay, but those same men that approached Lot's house. They said they they was about to damn near break the door, as the scriptures mentioned in um uh, in the ninth verse. All right, I read that. This is Genesis chapter nineteen, verse nine, and they said, "Stand back!" And they said again, "This one fellow came in to sojourn, and he would needs to be a judge. Now we will now will we deal worse with thee than with them." And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. So they damn near acting ruthless. All right, they're not, they're, these, these wicked individuals are acting ruthless. These are men are right, attempting to have that intercourse with other men. And the, and the law teaches us, teaches us not to aid. Hey, you can't lie down. You know what? Let me see if I can. I'm, let me go ahead and grab that. All right. Uh, let me grab that in, in Leviticus. All right. This is Leviticus chapter 18. Uh, verse... 18, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22, it reads, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination, all right? So the, way, the same way a man and woman will lie together, all right, in their quarters, in their bed, in their room, okay? Mankind should not lie with mankind, all right? The, those two, they do not match, man, okay? The plugs do not match, all right? So back to Genesis chapter 9, so that's within the law. All right, so when you a hey, to transgress the law is 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 death. All right, so this is Genesis chapter nineteen, continuing on Genesis chapter nineteen, verse ten. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut the door, and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot. Has thou here any besides son-in-law and thy and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou has in the city? Bring them out of this place because it was full of wickedness, man. It was not safe, man. Righteousness was not safely to dwell there. All right, those men got judged that were seeking to to, to come into uh Lot's house and commit that wicked act, man. That ungodly act. All right, verse thirteen. It reads, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord and the Lord have sent us to destroy it. Verse 14, and Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters and said, up, get you up out of this place for the Lord will destroy this city. 
but he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened, hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. All right, verse 16, continuing on. All right, so they're giving that warning to Lot. That's the Lord showing mercy through his messengers. All right, verse 16. And while he lingered, the men laid a hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought forth him, like, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. All right. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. All right. Because destruction was coming into this place. The same way destruction is coming to the to the lands of America and to the lands of other uh, other parts of the earth. Judgment. OK. Verse 18. And Lot said unto them, that's why it's important to consider, consider Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. And it says. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy. Because that's the Lord was showing mercy unto Lot. It says, Which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And this is the and these are the such such things that we, you know, hopefully we come across, man. We when we come into these uh near death situations, man, we look to uh for the Lord to have mercy unto us. We hope in that mercy. That's what we expect. In the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And continuing on, it says, And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold, now this city is near to flee unto, and is a and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. It is not a little one, and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I would not overthrow this city, for thou says, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoor. All right. So, hey, they was they was giving that warning to to Lot to escape, man. Hey, go go to this go to the next city. All right, because this one is about to be destroyed because of the the iniquity, because of the sins. All right, sin upon sin. All right, verse twenty three. It reads: The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoor. Verse 24, then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. All right. Fire and brimstone. Destruction came up unto that place. Verse 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. All right. So what's the what's going to be though? And those same actions are taking place in America, greatly in America. Great America is being a front front runner. Of these of these actions are right, of these wicked deeds, man. All right, especially cities, for an example, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, Los Angeles, California. These and it's and it's all over the country, but those are the the, the pillars of uh, of those wicked actions, man. All right, verse twenty six, and the end result is going to be destruction. All right, destruction. People are going to get tortured by fire and brimstone, man. All right. So continuing on, it says, but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. She, so she turned back, you know, verse 27. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the, to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain. And he beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as a smoke of a furnace. All right, that, that place was to be destroyed. But Lot's wife lost focus. She 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 probably loved Sodom and Gomorrah so much for her great possessions or whatnot, you know. And, and judgment went for because they they mentioned that if you if you stay here you're gonna be consumed. And his and his wife looked back, man. You know she 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 loved that place. She was she was truly attached. But that's why the scriptures speak about with Micah chapter two verse ten: Arise ye and depart spiritually. Arise ye and depart, man. Understand that this that this the fashion of this society. Is going is 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 temporary, all right. The fashion in this world is going to pass away, as it mentioned in the books of of First Corinthians, all right. The fashion of this world will pass away, all right. It's temporary, man. And remember, hey, always keep in the back of your conscience and your mind. This place is going to be destroyed, all right. And we're looking to be delivered out of it, all right. So continuing on with verse uh twenty nine of Genesis Genesis chapter nineteen, 
And the reason it came to pass when the Most High overthrew the cities of the plain that the Most High remembered Abraham. All right. And Abraham is of that chosen lineage of the Israelites, Abraham, Isaac, unto Jacob. All right. And that's the reason. That's the main reason why we have a chance at deliverance to this very day. All right. That's what is the reason. Because truly we're Israelites, man, because of the covenant, because of the agreement that the Lord set up for between him and the, and the Israelites. He keep the Lord is going to keep his end of the bargain, you know. And it says, and it, but I'll continue on to read, or I reread that verse with Genesis chapter 19, verse 29. And it came to pass when the Most High overthrew the cities of the plain, that the Most High remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. You know, so, so the Lord allowed Lot to escape. The Lord allowed Lot to escape, man. And we're looking to escape the, these, these near-death situations in the time we're in right now. All right? We we look we hasten you know we hasten the return of Yahweh Shai and we look to and we look towards that deliverance, okay. So I also want to grab Isaiah chapter thirteen, that involves America, which is mentioned in the scriptures as Babylon the Great, okay. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen verse nine concerning Bible prophecy. This is going to come to pass, man. So this is Isaiah chapter thirteen verse nine. It reads. Oh, Slaki, I'm going to go down to verse uh, 19. It reads. Mm, I'm going to start at verse 17, okay? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And who's within that, that, that location uh, to this very day, man? The Russians. It says, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Verse 18, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. And their bows are going into their thermonuclear missiles. Their military, man, all right, being shot unto Babylon. All right, this prophecy is going into Babylon. But ancient Babylon, according to the Bible, is located in modern-day Iraq. And modern-day Iraq is still is still has that population going to this very day. So this chapter and these verses are clearly going into a, a, another Babylon. And that Babylon is being America, okay, that is going to come to pass through the destruction. So continuing on. With verse 18, their bows being the missiles also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity upon on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So the, 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 the Russians and these other and their allies, OK, these other countries using their thermonuclear missile power, they're not going to care about the, the silver and gold. They're going to you're not going to be able to, to buy them out, make it make a certain uh contract or agreement. They're not they're not going to have pity upon the, the women and children in, in the land, they're not going to care about any of that, man. They're going to shoot those missiles, all right? And the Lord's going to put the spear on those missiles to, to perform 100% what they're meant to perform, okay? Verse 19, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms and the beauty of the Chald Chaldeans' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? So that same result is going to take place, this time by thermonuclear missiles. That's why they're being created that's why they're being tested that's why they're being invented in these times right now because the lord is allowing these these the minds of these people to create these instruments to put to for for his judgment simple as that all right uh verse 20 the point the main point it reads it shall never be inhabited all right so back to the point of babylon ancient babylon being modern day iraq it said in verse 20 of Isaiah chapter 13 that this sh this place should never be inhabited. Modern day Iraq is clearly inhabited right now. So this has to be talking about another future Babylon. And this is going to truly America through the spirit, man. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 20. It shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. All right. So Babylon the Great, which is America, according to Bible prophecy, would never be inhabited ever again after it's after it's destroyed by thermonuclear missiles because of the wicked and sinful deeds that are being displayed on the everyday basis, man. And that, and that, and that, uh, just like the examples of the cities I gave, man, Atlanta, all right, Atlanta, Georgia, Las Vegas, all right, Miami, all right. Uh, Los Angeles, all hey, these are these are the pillars of those wicked actions, man. Houston, Texas, all right. Is it, but the hey, the Lord, the Lord sees it. Hey, the Lord, the, and the Lord is going to judge it, man. And the end result is going to be thermonuclear missile destruction. 
Okay, so it's a it's a it's a um, it's a thing to consider for these people, man. These people gotta consider Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, but Lord willing, you know this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you, sincere believers in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.